on the AP test, since you don't have a calculator, you're going to have to be able to solve pH problems without one. When it's 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, you can just look at the exponent if there's a 1 in front. Therefore, when I negative log 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, I'm going to get 5. So 1 times 10 to the negative 8 should have a pH of 8. The next one is OH concentration. So first, I want to find my pOH. My pOH would be 3. Therefore, my pH would be 11. The next one, we have pOH would equal 7. Therefore, pH would equal 7. This last one isn't 1.0 times 10 to the whatever. It's 1.8, which means my pH will not be 6. It'll be around 6, but it won't be 6. So to solve problems where it's not 1 times 10 to the whatever, we need to know this number scale. 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, we know if I negative log it, will give me 5. We have 1, we have 10, and in the middle you can think is roughly around pi, 3.14 times 10 to the negative 5th. So 10 times 10 to the negative 5th would be 4, because that's the same as writing 1 times 10 to the negative 4. In the middle of the 2 is 4.5 then. So Anytime you're solving a problem, think 1 times 10 to the whatever number they gave you, 10 times 10 to the negative number they gave you. So this is 5, this has to be 4, and then pi times 10 to the number that they gave you is going to go in the middle. So then any number that's not in that, so then you can figure out the number they gave you. Let's say it was 1.78. That fits in the middle of these two. So it should be between 4.5 and 5. Knowing just that information will get you an answer close enough for a multiple choice question. So that would be around 4.75. And 5.62 is between pi and 10. So that's going to be 4.25. So the only three that you really need to know are these three. And then find where it's at, and that will give you a 0.25 range of your correct answer. So on that first one, you should be writing out your number line. 1 times 10 to the negative 9, 10 times 10 to the negative 9, pi times 10 to the negative 9. This is 9, this is 8, this is 8.5. 3.7 should be somewhere in this range. So between 8 and 8.5, so maybe around 8.4. You can plug that into your calculator and see how close you were to the correct answer. I'm going to pause the video and try these next four on your own. Restart when you have answers to those four. So it should be between 11 and 10. 2.2 is up here in this section. So around 10.75. Next one should be between 6 and 5. And 1.8 is in this range again. So maybe 5.5. The next two, they gave you hydroxide, so first we're going to have to find pOH. We know it's between 3 and 2. 7.9 should be down here in this section, so maybe 2.2. So then my pH Would be 11.8. And then the last one has to be between 
7, and 6. And it should be in this range, so around 6.6 6 maybe. And so my pH would be 8.4. And again, we just need to get close enough to determine our correct answer. Therefore, all of these are around those answers.